full thing so that you can see what it's like. Okay. You're gonna need tweezers okay. and you're, you're gonna need a wire threader. This I got at Wawak also, off of Wawak. Um, I can send you the link. Okay. And then whenever you're threading it, your machine didn't come with a lamp, so you might just need a lamp. It's a different name. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's very small. Um, you know, just be careful when you're threading it with the machine on because you don't want to like sew yourself. So just make sure to keep your foot off of the pedal. So it should be on or off? I have it on so that the light oh, okay. comes on. But in theory, you should be always threading your machines off in case you accidentally okay. press the pedal. Would you mind to show me how to open it? Like at least oh, yeah. So. Yeah. This will lift. This little part here, you'll move it over and then just push it down, mm. revealing this lever. Mm. You'll push that and this thing comes out. Okay. This flips by itself. Mm. And then the lever here will lift this part and then you can move the foot out of the okay. way. So this one has two needles. Mm. Um, so I'm gonna thread, oh, I need another comb. I'll thread five combs. Mm. So you put your thread, loop it here, here, and then you're gonna come here. Mm -hmm. The machine does have like a little guide mm -hmm. that'll show you the different threads and they're all color coded. So right now we're gonna thread the blue one. Mm -hmm. And if you'll notice, some of the dots are painted blue. Mm -hmm. so I'm gonna come around here, around here. And grab my little threader. And then it has to go in between the two tension discs here. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna come here. Mm -hmm. Then I'm gonna come here to the first little opening. And since I'm doing the blue one, I'm gonna go to the blue dots, so mm -hmm. here. And then here, and then here. So this one, I'm going in from the side. And then for this one, I have to go from the front to the back. So then I'm just gonna loop out like that. Mm -hmm. Now the blue one's a little tricky because we have to come here next. But then we have to, we're going to come out from the back and then we have to go into, there's a little arm over here. Okay. So this is where we'll need our tongs. So I'm going to thread like so. And then with my tongs, mm -hmm. I'm going to try and feel to grab the wire. This is the most annoying one to do. These tongs are a little too big. Yeah. Can my finger go in tiny? Can your what? My finger go No. Inside. Well, I mean, I, I'll put my finger in to like help push the wire, but it's a really small opening, like my pinky can't. Yeah. These aren't very good tongs.
And so here's the wire. So when you pull, it should pull, like there shouldn't be any tension, it should come out mm -hmm. easily. So very gently, you are gonna apply pressure to the pedal because we need to turn, we need to crank the machine. And then right here, you might have to get on this side to see. So this little arm is coming out. Mm -hmm. So we have to thread through the hole there from back to front. So we twist the other yeah. one and then to have the arm, little arm come out? Yeah, so this will, see when I turn this, the oh. arm goes in and out. Okay. So we need to twist it so that the arm comes out. And these are great because you can bend them. Mm -hmm. My tongue. So see, it's a, it's a very short distance that I'm, mm -hmm. that it's going through. I can't make it come all the way out. It needs to be in between these two oh. arms. So again, I'm pulling and it should come out pretty easily. Mm -hmm. So then once I've come out, mm -hmm. I have to go back that way. And then so you'll crank the arm again. Mm -hmm. So then we're going over here next. We're coming right here next. Okay. So this whole thing is one arm. Mm -hmm. So we went into it, went around it, mm -hmm. then back to the front and we're gonna feed the wire. We're gonna feed the wire just straight through. So there it is. And then I'm gonna come into this little hole and then just out that way. Now with that one done, I just kind of leave it over here. I'm gonna go to the next one, which is yellow. And the yellow is a lot easier. through the tension disc, down through here, and we're gonna go here. Mm -hmm.
Sometimes when they get too like misshapen, they don't work very well. Wow, these this one's awful. But since I'm doing the yellow one now, I'm gonna follow the yellow dots. And this one's pretty easy. I come through here, down here, up, down to here, up here, and then through this tiny arm. Okay. This one right there that's moving. So, because this one's already threaded, the blue one, when I come from here to here, I have to thread behind this thread. Mm -hmm. So, I've come out here and I'm going in there now. Next I'm coming here. go behind the white thread here, so I'm gonna move it a bit. And then I'm coming from the front, I'm going head on in through here and then up to this one. And again, I have to stay behind the blue thread, the thread from the blue one that we did. So it should look like that with the, the one in the yellow behind. Mm -hmm. Next, we're going to come here. We're gonna go into this arm. So this one threads in from the back and we're gonna come out through this little hole here. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna thread, there's another spot at the other end. So it's kind of like at a weird angle, but see it comes out. Oh, okay. And then just push it towards the front of the machine. And if you want to come on this side to see. So see where, this is where we came out of. Mm -hmm. And now we're going to go right in there. And then, so now that one's done. Okay. So we have the two hardest ones done. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we'll do this one. So even though for whatever reason, since this one is colored red, mm -hmm. there's a red and a yellow pathway here. Mm -hmm. We're gonna follow the yellow dots even though it's a red dot over here. Okay. So can we do this? Like that. Okay. Are you gonna be using it mostly three cone or five cone? I'm not sure now because I, I didn't try like what's the difference between three cone and the five cone. Okay. I'll show you what a five stitch looks like. And then, I mean, the three cone is pretty, it's like the normal surge that we, that everyone tends to use here. 
Um, the five cone just adds more reinforcement. All right, so here, and we'll go around through the tension disc, and down here. So now we're going to go through the yellow. So this one goes just all the way across. Mm. So when you choose it, what do you want to get? This one, I, I wasn't okay. trying to get anything. I was just, it's good to, because you see it goes through this part of the leg. Mm. It's just good to make sure that it's matched up. So okay. you can just go right across. Mm. Then we're going to come down here to the other yellow. And then we're going to come here. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. I don't know. That doesn't make sense to go. I'm just going to go over. Yeah, we'll go here. And then we just thread the needle. So like the industrial uh, straight stitchers, mm. these, the needles face front to back. Mm. So we'll thread this front to back. And we're, we're threading the needle that's farthest away from the machine first. Now we will thread the other needle. Mm -hmm. So we're just gonna do this all over again. And then we're going to follow the red dot. So there, we're going to come across here to here, here, and then down to the needle. So go here, yeah. and go inside, and then go down, yeah, okay. and then we just thread the, the needle. But see, this thread has is behind the yellow one. So see, when you pull, everything should be pulling smoothly. There should be no tension. So go down the way, there's still like a Yeah, little... there's like a little arm opening and that just oh. helps guide the thread. Okay. Yeah. All right, so now that we're done with the forefront ones, we have to do the one that goes through the back of the machine. Let me grab some... So 
this one's a little weird. So instead of going over here, hmm. we're going to... So there's a little sticker here that shows you how to thread the machine in the back. Hmm. We're going to come... You might want to stand over here because most of the action is happening in the back. This one is going to back? Yeah. So oh. this one the feeds in through the back and comes around. Okay. <laughs> Here. It's so strange. So we're gonna come to this little hole. Okay. And then we're gonna go here. From here to here. Mm. Alright, so it should look like that. Mm. And then there's a tube right here mm. that we need to feed this all the way through. But I'm going to do it from the front because we need to catch it okay. with our tongs. So you can't really, if you want to come see where it comes out of. See, underneath this plate, this is the other end. This is the other end of the tube mm. where oh, okay. um, the thread will come out. Okay. So I'm just gonna feed my wire into the tube like so. And then if you see, it's sticking out. Yeah, I see. It's sticking out like there. Mm. And then we'll just pull it out. So this is what we've, we've just done these two and then went through the tube. Now we're going to come to this part, this mm. little arm, circle around this tension disc and end up here. Mm. Ooh, this foot's out of the way. So, and then circle around the tension disc. Mm -hmm. Then come in here. Okay, and then we're gonna put the thread, there's two little arms here. Mm -hmm. The thread is gonna go just through like that. And then we're gonna um, pull it through this little opening. So it should do like that. And then into this little opening here at this arm. And then we're gonna come into this opening. Mm -hmm. So from here, again, we're gonna have to crank this little wheel. We're gonna go from here into this beam. Now that we're here, kind of with what we did with the blue one, we then have to crank the wheel again and see on the opposite end of, that, of the pole that we just came out of, mm -hmm. there's another opening. 
So you'll feed the wire through the machine. And we're gonna go into that pole. Mm. And we just have one more place to put it and then we're done. We now have to come out of, if you look at the top of the dog feed over here, mm -hmm. we have to come out of this center hole. So this needle, when it comes down into this hole, mm -hmm. picks up this thread and that creates the straight stitch. So kind of going back into the machine, you just feed it through the hole. And that is the machine all threaded. Okay. So we'll close this. Mm -hmm. Close this. I usually put my thread to the side here like this. Mm -hmm. And then I just plant to the foot right on top of everything. I straighten it out. Mm -hmm. Try the excess. And now let's grab a piece of fabric. So I threaded something is off. Something is off. So it does the surge, and then right here where the holes are mm -hmm. is where there should be a straight stitch happening from the thread underneath. It just, oh, yeah. so it just unthreaded from the needle. Mm -hmm. Easy fix. So you'll see I've got both of my stitches, mm. see? Whenever you are done sewing, just leave a little tail. So like about this much and then just mm. cut. You always want to make sure you leave yourself something. Because mm. um, it will just, it'll help from the needles from deep threading like, like just what just had happened. Um, that way you don't have to open. The, the one we use in the studio, it doesn't have nerve. 
No, so so th so this is what a five cone will do. Mm. A three cone will just do this stitch. Okay. You can make this one only do the, the three if you don't just don't thread the last two. Mm. Actually, just don't thread the far needle. So this one, okay. and then don't thread the back. The back. Mm. The back one, and then the third cone in. Okay. This one. If you only want three, these are the three that you need. Okay. If you want five, all of them. Uh, if I want three, do we need to like it, remove the bar needle? Yeah, I would remove the needle because you don't want it to be piercing your fabric. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is any like a function for the streak stick? It's like just a... more support. Oh. Okay. It's more. It gives you more strength. Um, it essentially does the job of serging and straight stitching at once. Mm -hmm. It combines the three cone and the straight stitch into one machine. Okay. Um, it's just extra things to keep it keep in put into account, um, like seam allowance and whatnot. But, but uh, I remember you told me in the five cone is. It's better work for swing square. Yeah, it what, gives. What does it mean, like like that? It gives like in areas where there's a lot of pull. Uh -huh. It gives a bit more support. Oh okay. Um, but we can still use like a three cone for swing square. Well. Yeah, you can totally still use the three cone. Yeah, okay. absolutely. So on the thread is just normal thread. Yeah, it's just that thread I sent you. Mm. Um, for the serger. The purler uses one of these, but two of the woolies. Um, I found the purler and the surgery are the same. They're the same machine, it's just the stitch length that's changed. Um, so, I haven't done it in a while. So I cannot use the purler thread on this machine, right? If you're going to make yours be a serger, yeah. just use the serger threads. Okay. The purler also needs a different foot part. Mm. Um, <coughs> it's more complicated. It's more complicated.